Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys anybody who's into the dance world, anybody who, who loves dance. Uh, okay, let me just excite you with what is happening. This dance is called the uh, Zambian Shuffle. And uh, you're gonna be party to checking out something that's roaring across Zambia. It's the Zambian Shuffle. In something that is big and big in Zambia. It's called the Zambian Shuffle. And it's a Zambian dance which is happening everywhere, every town, everywhere in Zambia. There's different steps to it that are common, but in each household, it's, it's, it's uh, very different. It's a Zambian shuffle. Every household in Zambia pretty much is, is really involved in this dance, um, or knows about it at least, and uh, everybody's excited, and uh, there's a lot of emotion around this dance. And this is how it's done. Imagine I had just to employ or hire a specialist. James, pick it up. Yes. Here in Zambia, um, and uh, I want to show you a little gem that's that's to be found in Zambia. It's being done across the nation, across Zambia. Uh, almost every household is involved in this dance, um, and uh, a lot of excitement. So here we go, Zambian shuffle. James, are you ready? Yeah, take it up. Good morning, and uh, welcome to the Zambian Shuffle. The Zambian Shuffle is, in fact, um, the moment the power appears till the power goes. Um, so the Zambian Shuffle um, is our rush to get everything done while the, while the power is uh, on. So... We need to do all of our power-related activities. It's a Zambian shuffle. Um, I, don't, I don't always uh, have to get up in the middle of the night, but um, a lot of times I do because I want to get some video editing done. I want to get uh, um, washing done because I just, um, when the power goes, my also water goes um, because I guess I'm, I'm on an electric water somehow um, so when then when water goes then I can't use my shower I can't do anything so in fact well I remember um, I should go to here Turn on my turn on my shower because um, I need to have water to to bath in in case in case the power goes. So a lot of times in the middle of the Zambian shuffle, um, you uh, fall asleep uh, and you wake up and you realize. You didn't get a chance to 
charge your phone, you didn't get a chance to um, do all the stuff that you need to do, maybe wash your clothes, maybe anything, um, and uh, that's, a, that's a terrible feeling when you wake up and you go, ah, today I don't have a phone. I don't get to um, shoot something, shoot video today because I forgot to charge my batteries. Um, I'm even I'm even worrying about that at the moment because in shoot, shooting this while the power is on, once these go, because um, my batteries are low right now, once these go, um, I'm gonna find the powers off and I can't recharge them and I can't can't shoot anything today. But um, I need to give you the true Zambian shuffle experience. I wanted to shoot during this during the true hours camera battery, my audio recorder batteries, power bank for my phone. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to, to charge and it's and some things I have to charge and then take out and then put something else in. Uh, so it's a bit of a process. Me, I've learned to, to bathe like this um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty normal for me actually. So I, I don't mind using it as a backup in case my electricity goes and the shower, the shower stops. I mean, I have um, also lived with friends who, who just have this and you just bathe like this, but luckily uh, at the moment I have a shower. Um, but I, I hate bathing at, uh, 2 a.m. I don't know why. There's one thing I can't handle is bathing at 2 a.m. So um, I make a little backup of water just in case uh, power goes at 5:30 a.m. and and I don't get a chance to shower. I have to do the the basin way of bathing. So so yeah, you just just splash yourself with water and soap and. And uh, that's what you do. It's a very tiring process sometimes. Um, not only that, but the fact that um, you're in the dark without electricity um, in the evening. That's a tiring thing. Just being in the dark too much, being um, without power too much. Um, it's a tiring thing. And then you have to get on your Zambian shuffle, which also is a bit tiring. So, um, so the whole process is kind of wears down the spirit, is what I would say. This is where we will drop our, our laundry. You need to kind of uh, squish it. How can I do this? So drop some soap in. You've got this one, which you kind of squish into it and like so and you got to get into armpits get into the nasty spots like so need to turn it out it with water, do it about, uh, I think you're supposed to do a wash and a rinse three times. I was just filling the last load with uh, um, laundry detergent and I hadn't got to the rinse and the power cut just as, I, just as the water was coming down. I managed to charge my phone, charge my laptops, charge my camera battery, two double A's filled for my um, for my zoom uh, recorder mic and uh, there's a certain feeling that a modern feeling of joy at being fully charged when it comes to your phone and such probably not a healthy joy but there's a joy there yeah the only problem being that I that I managed to forget to charge my power bank for my phone so my phone's gonna be a little bit sparse use today it was late enough that I didn't seem, my body didn't seem to mind showering, so uh, I didn't have to do the, the basin bath. Um, 
yeah, so you can see the Zambian shuffle is a dance, which uh, is happening everywhere, every town, everywhere in Zambia. What do you think about uh, uh, load shed and, and how it's affecting the country? Uh, load shedding is uh, affecting uh, the country in the negative way. You see, most of uh, the people, the citizens, depends most uh, on electricity to, to do their business. Like uh, people who have got barber shops, uh, saloons, uh, butcheries, uh, and uh, the welders, those who, uh, who connect metals, uh, uh, and, 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 and uh, other, other people. You see, if one side of the business is affected, even the other side of uh, the business is also affected. We can, uh, like transport wise, because people are not having uh, income, they're not having money. So even the demand for, 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 for other things like transport, people in the transport sector won't be able to have money because the people that they need to transport from one point to another point, they do not have money. So even the whole business, the whole countrywide, uh, in terms of financial, it will be affected. Um, other people are trying to, to use some other means of uh, power, like uh, solar. But you see, solar is always expensive. We can uh, find some other means of, uh, of power, like genset, which is uh, going back to the same thing. Uh, fuel is expensive, gas is expensive. And hydro is one thing that uh, is almost uh, everyone can afford because it's uh, the nation that is pro providing that uh, electricity. You need money to, 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 to buy stuff, you need money for you to eat, you need money for almost everything. And then if you do not have money, then uh, you, you, your spirit is, uh, is, is, is low. Your, your, even your self-esteem is low because you, 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 you are unable to provide even for, for, you, for your family because you can't make money. So you, you're kind of, you are low. You're trying to think of anything else that you can do just to, 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 to make money. And it's quite, it's quite uh, tedious because uh, the only thing that you can do is maybe you go and make charcoal. You do not need to electricity to make charcoal. But then, uh, at the end of the day, you'll be contributing negatively to, 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 to our society because you have to cut trees and you contribute to the climate change, which is uh, eating us very, very bad. We can see the, the heat waves and everything. Sorry for the lighting, seems to be a little bit darker, we do not have power. Well, you see, when you don't have power the whole day and power just come, now it starts running, you, you have to iron, you have to cook, you have to bake, you have my wife had to us to go to do the recharge, the retouch at at at, at the, 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 the 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 salon and everything. Like, what are you going? Where are you going this time? This is the only time that we have electricity. Well, if even if it's the middle of the, of the, of the night, I mean, she has to do the hair at the salon. So that's the only time that she has to do. No, there's there's commotion. There's this one rushing to, 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 to you are fighting for the for the for the plug for the socket where you can charge your phone. And call, and call. Someone is calling. Yeah, if you fall asleep, you don't uh, get to to charge your phones or you don't you get to not to boil water for for drinking. You uh, you, you you risk it. You drink. Uh, tap water, or if you don't charge your your, your phones, then, then you stay without uh, communication, and you you tend to lose uh, business. If uh, a business pe 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 person, you need to to contact people, you need to contact customers. Then who are you talking to? The gone? Hello. Uh, My washing machine. It's in the bedroom. And if power comes during the night, well, this machine will be making noise. But you have to enjoy it. I mean, that is when you're having power. 
So you'll be you'll be sleepy and then power just come in the night. I have to do lonely. If you have to sleep pretending you're dead, your wife will come and switch it on the laundry and then she has to laundry, she has to wash. But you have to dance to the noise of the washing machine because that is the only time you can do it. There's different steps to it that are common, but in each household, it's, it's, it's uh, very different. And this is how it's done. Welcome to the mighty Victoria Falls. Livingstone is most known as the tourist capital of Zambia. But the most attractive part of it is the mighty Victoria Falls. In the local name, it's called Mosotu Mosotunya, meaning the smoke that thunders. It is one of the greatest wonders of the earth uh, let me show you how the mighty Victoria Falls looks like oh my god water Water, water. water. Mm -hmm. And what has happened to the water? There's no water. Where, where is no water? Mm -hmm. At the falls, there's no water. Just take a look. At Looking at it right now, I only see rocks. It's dry. The mighty. It's no longer the mighty. It's not thundering anymore. And it's quiet, as quiet as the forest. Just take a look. And this is what happened. Give it some time. All these rocks, when water comes, will be covered by water. You won't be able to see the rock behind there, but you only be seeing waters. And the steam or the fog that sometimes you won't even be able to see the boundaries, these self-guard friends. As of now, this is exactly what is happening to our mighty Victoria Falls. One of the greatest falls in Zambia. It's uh, no longer a falls, but just a gorge. Maybe that's the reason we don't have power or water. What is happening to this country? Hey, sir. Excuse me, sir. Hey, you over there. Do you know where the water's gone? Hello? David? David? Come on, David, stop ignoring me. He was not going to answer. Just come, you pay on the entrance there. Then you've come to see the foes. And then you find that the foes are shifted. It has gone to Zimbabwe. Now this is the mighty Zambezi river which feeds up the falls and this is the part where the water comes from all that goes there to drop and it's just where it's just just dry we do not have water we don't have the falls it is I don't know what it is called now, 
but this is what we have. I don't think people should care about the debate over climate change, about where it comes from or what. I think we need to be thinking this can be reduced or this can be a safeguard. Even if there's a 1% chance that the earth might melt. Let's do that.